Fight the Shit Report. We live here in the O. Well, when apart to be exact. Joseph, Biggie Boy, Legolay. What's good, bro? What's good, brother? What's good? So you got a date coming up, man. Yes, sir. You got, you got an opponent coming up with a little bit of name on him. Yeah, we do. How you feel about that? I mean, I feel I feel good about it. You know, um, I know he's a, a gang fighter. I know he's going he gonna to bring the action, but I mean, I know, I know I'm going to stop him. I'm going to work him. I'm going to break him down. Now, you're the only guy from this camp that's fighting that particular card. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So no more, no more uh, bets. But who got dinner? Because every time I catch one, I have to ask one of y'all about the bet. Because y'all seem to have that going every fight. Yeah, we do. But I mean, I guess not for this card. Not this time around. But I'm sure. I'm sure gonna be any more cards in the future. We're gonna all be lined up on the same card. So the bet gonna keep going. Just not right now. Okay. Now this is a homecoming fight for you, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a, this is a, I guess what you would call uh, the biggest fight of your career at this point. Yeah. Do you feel any pressure, man, to put on a good performance? Not at all. I mean, I, you know, pretty much. I think I I always put on, put on a good performance. Performance, you know. So to me, it's not it's natural. It's nothing. Okay. Now, how is camp going? I see coach getting you right in here, man. They got you getting your ab work in, your shadow boxing. I mean, you're looking good. You told me that your weight is pretty much on point. So overall, how's camp? Camp going good, you know, camp is always good, you know, strength and conditioning, you know, with my coach Nelson, Nelson, uh, Rodriguez, and um, my coach Jason Collardo, you know, Jason Collardo, you know, everything going real good, you know, just keeping me sharp. Coach John working on um, mixing me, and everything going well. Now, does this feel like home to you? Because you're, you're a veteran fighter, bro. You're not new to this. You've mm -hmm. been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. um, you've worked with, with Stafford. Um, you've been out in Vegas with, with Senior. And now you find a home here, back home in Orlando or Central Florida, uh, over here with these guys, with Coach Galarza and, and the team. How, does this feel like home to you? I mean, it is home. You know, uh, most of my family is here in Orlando. You know, and I'm from Melbourne before I count. That's the next county over. So pretty much this is home, you know. And it feels good because I'm around, you know, my coach Jason. I've been around since I was amateur. I know him and his whole family since amateur. So it, it, everything's feel natural. It feels good. Now you somebody that always talks about perspective and being mentally ready. Mm -hmm. um, and you talk about knowing yourself a lot. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little bit of insight on the maturation process that you've gone through just over the past couple years? Because you were one of the top prospects not too long ago. Mm -hmm. You had a couple of losses set you back a little bit. Then you kind of fell off the radar for a little bit. Now you're back climbing your way up. Can you talk about you know what finding self has done for you so far? I mean, finding self just 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 knowing who I am as a black man and know you know knowing you know just knowing. The great thing, greatness that uh, we we which contributes out to the world, it has done a lot for me. But the main thing, you know, knowing myself as, as a man, you know, knowing what I want to go for and what I will go for, you know, because in this sport, people try to you know run things on you that you know in your heart ain't right, but you you're, you're too shallow, you're too shallow in the game to to really speak your mind. And now you know, if I don't like something, and somebody trying to bring something that, that I don't like, that's not that I know it doesn't work for me and not in my best interest, I'm gonna turn it down, man. Okay. Now to get a little more lighthearted note on the conversation, man. How them tickets coming on? I think you owe a few people some tickets, man. What's up with that? <laughs> I know I'm still waiting on mine. What, what's going on? I mean, you know, yeah, I got you, man. I'm just waiting on, um, I'm waiting on to, you know, the people to let me know how much they're gonna give me, cause they really don't try to give up nothing. But yeah, well, you know, when they come through, I got it. Well, I'm just getting you a hard time, man. You know, we always support, so we got to pay or not, we will be there, man. I appreciate. Um, it. Any any particular shout outs you want to give? Anybody you want to give thanks to, man? I mean, good thanks for my, my camp, you know. Uh, thanks to you know, you know everybody, you know, in in in, in boxing who looking out for me. Uh, you know, Al Heyman, I appreciate that brother. You know, um, my coaches, Dennis, Den, uh, Den, my my team and stay with Dennis, and um, uh, Erickson Lubin, my coach uh, Jason Galarza, my strength and conditioning coach uh, Nelson Rodriguez, and, and my coach June. You know, we all just putting in work, man. I appreciate all of them and my good my. Precious, precious lady, you know, my woman, she pissed up a lot, you know, you know, going through camp because, you know, it's like you have your, your uh, gorilla moments, you know what I'm saying, in camp, so she pissed up with that, so I appreciate her for that, too. All right, man, well, it might be a future for you in sales or something. We know how to smooth it over <laughs> real good. Well, that was some good brownie points there, man. Let everybody know how we can keep up with you and follow you, man. I mean, you can follow me on Joseph Elegale on Instagram, Joseph underscore Elegale. And Twitter, Joseph Biggie Boy Legolay, Biggie, Biggie Boy Legolay, and um, and uh, you know what was my um, Facebook, Joseph Biggie Boy Legolay. 
All right, man. We appreciate you, bro. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, man. Uh, get ready. I'm here. Fight a share report.